This lesson will show you how to get organized if you are a Dream Draper online user. Now we do recommend that you view two of our other lessons before viewing this one. The first one is the Getting Organized lesson that applied to the installed version of Dream Draper. Remember you will be able to save your files either on the server or on your own computer. So that lesson really does apply to you. The other lesson that you need to take a look at is the one on the file transfer utility. That lesson will show you how to move your files to and from the server, from the server to your computer or from your computer to the server. So this lesson will show you how to get organized on the server, but the file transfer utility lesson will show you how to actually use that handy tool. Now if you will recall in the other getting organized lesson, we showed this kind of an organizational structure where you would set up your company folder or directory if you don't already have one and in this example the name of our company is Home Elegance and under that you would have numerous company folders maybe on accounting or marketing plus the one that we're really interested in is the clients folder and you might have numerous clients the one that we're interested in was Jane Smith and in this example, Jane hired us to do three of her rooms, the dining room, the family room, and the living room. But we're only interested right now in her family room, and we set up those six content folders on the right. And this is what that organizational structure looked like in the Windows Explorer program. Remember we set up our Home Elegance folder under Documents and under Home Elegance we had our Clients folder. Under the Clients folder we had our Jane Smith folder and under Jane Smith we had the Family Room and we set up those six folders under the family room. But if you're organizing your files on the server, you can really condense that structure to something like this. You really don't have to set up your company name and your company folders on the server, and you can start right at the client folder level. Now the first time that you open up the file transfer utility, you're going to see something like this. Again, please make sure that you viewed the lesson on the file transfer utility. That lesson will show you how to use it and how to move your files back and forth. This particular lesson is showing you how to get organized using the file transfer utility. Now remember the first time that you open up the file transfer utility, your documents is the server. That's the default location and documents is currently empty. You don't have any files there. The client is your computer. Documents is the server. So on the left you can see that I have gone into my computer, which is the client, and I have found my documents folder. Now following our example, I'm going into my company folder, which is the Home Elegance folder. And if you will recall, we created these three folders within Home Elegance, Accounting, Clients, and Marketing but I want to go into the Clients folder so I can double click on the Clients icon. And if you will recall, we had three clients that we set up, Roberta Jones, John McDonald, and Jane Smith. Remember Jane had hired us 
to do three of her rooms. So if I double click on Jane's folder, there I can see her three rooms, the dining room, the family room, and the living room. Now just remember that right now we are looking at your computer. We are using the File Transfer Utility Program to look at your organizational structure on your computer. So with the File Transfer Utility, we can actually view your folders from DreamDraper Online. So here we are looking at the three rooms that Jane is working on. But for this example, we really only want to look at the family room. So if we double click on the family room, we'll see those six content folders that we had set up for your before photos, your Dream Draper designs, your fabrics, your furniture, your JPEGs to email to the client, and the photos of the finished job. Now, if you notice on the left, you can see that path that we've navigated. You can see that we created our Home Elegance Company folder under Documents. And under Home Elegance, we had several folders, but right now we are in the Clients folder. We had several clients, but right now we are only looking at Jane Smith. Jane hired us to do three rooms, but right now we're only looking at the family room. And then on the right you can see the individual folders that are under the family room. Now remember we said that if you wanted to save your files on the server, you really don't need all the levels. We don't really need the Home Elegance level. And remember, Home Elegance had three folders under it, Accounting, Clients, and Marketing. We really only need to have our clients on the server. So on the left, I've highlighted the Clients folder. And on the right, you can see the three clients that we had set up, Roberta Jones, John McDonald, and Jane Smith. Now, I'm only interested in... Jane Smith right now. Remember Jane hired us to do three rooms and we set up one of the rooms, the family room, with the six content folders. So if I wanted to move all of Jane's information up to the server, highlight Jane Smith's folder and then click on the copy button then click on Documents on the left. Remember, I want to copy Jane's folders from the computer up to the server. So I've highlighted Jane's folder. I clicked on Copy. Now click on the Documents folder, which is the server. And as you can see right now, there is nothing on the server. The server is currently empty. Then, click on the right that tells the program that you want to move something under Documents. So it's important to click in the space on the right. Then click on the Paste button. And there, Jane's folder including her subfolders, all got moved up to the server. Now if I double click on Jane's folder, you're going to see her three rooms. And also notice on the left, you'll see that Jane's folder is under Documents. And if I click on that plus sign, next to Jane's folder here on the left, I can expand her tree. There, and you can see her three room folders listed on the left. Now notice on the left that there is a plus sign 
next to the family room. That's because we had created the six subfolders under the family room. So if I click on that plus sign, there, I can see those six content folders. Now notice one other thing. We're in the Jane Smith directory. Now Jane has three main directories or folders underneath the dining room, the family room, and the living room. So even though we can see the subdirectories on the left under the family room, we can't see them on the right. We could see those six folders if we double clicked on the family room on the right. Now I want to show you something else. If I click on documents on the left, there I'm going to see the folders that are directly underneath documents. And right now we only have one folder that is directly under documents and that is the Jane Smith folder. That's the folder that we copied from the computer up to the server. But there's another way that we could have created the Jane Smith folder and that is directly on the server. So we want to create more client folders under documents. So with your mouse, right click on the right and you will be able to create additional folders. There, I was able to create the Roberta Jones folder by right clicking on the right. And if I want to create my other client folder, just right click again on the right and there you can create your other client folder. Okay, so we've shown you two methods of organizing your files and folders. You can create your folders on your computer and then copy them up to the server using the copy paste feature or you can create those directories directly on the server. Now when you're in the Dream Draper program itself and you're designing, you can insert your photos and fabric swatches from your computer or you can insert them from the server itself. It's actually faster inserting from the server so we do recommend that you get yourself organized and move your material up to the server before you start your job. But it really is a matter of preference. And one last note. I've worked with a lot of customers and some of their folders can be huge. They'll have a folder full of photos and they'll have loads of photos in there and if you try to move a complete folder like that with lots of images up to the server it will take a long time so just keep that in mind you really only want to move to the server those items that you really need okay so now you are ready to start designing please view the getting started lesson in case you haven't viewed that yet I think you're going to find that very helpful we also have many other detailed lessons on our website at www.dreamdraper.com. Click on the support link at the top. We also have our quick reference guide, which is available as a hard copy book and also as a downloadable PDF. And if you get stuck or you have any questions, don't forget we have a private online forum, our exchange forum. And also you can email us at info at dreamdraper.com. So now you should be all organized. So have fun designing.